He's a bit, um, well, he's ambitious, but I don't think he, I don't, he's not malicious in any way. I don't think he means harm to anybody, apart from possibly the Cecils, but that comes from them first, I would say, but he's rather hot-headed and a little bit unstable. And, um, and uh, so he's prone to rash decisions. And um, unfortunately, I, I would say he doesn't listen to people when he should do, specifically Oxford, when he tries to help him near the end of the film. And that obviously um, leads to his demise. The costumes are tailor-made. And, and I think they used, obviously they used original um, patterns from the period. So you're strapped in and your shoulders get pulled back and your body is, is kind of manipulated. So it really helps you um, jump into the character. And then you walk onto these sets, which are just amazing. And the detail is, is everywhere. And it's so easy to forget where you are and, um, and be transported. But the look of the film, like looking at it on the, on the, um, in the rushes and things like that, is it looks like a painting. I mean, it's so the contrast of the light and and the detail that it picks up. It um, looks amazing. It's really transporting. Well, it's just a great story, and it's and it's beautifully told and very well written, and it looks amazing. I think, um, and it's um, regardless of what you believe, if you if you are an Oxfordian or you are a Stratford man um, theorist, or what you think of Elizabeth, you know we can never really answer these questions. And I think it tells it tells a really good story. And um, it's it, it, what is what is most interesting about the film is it, is it gives you a look at what um, what this man who wrote these plays, what kind of world he could have been living in and what were the influences that um, inspired him to write these plays. And I think that's the most fascinating thing. And I think audiences will find that interesting because we're also obsessed with Shakespeare, you know.